Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, please hit that like and subscribe and let's get right into today's video. So off camera, I did go ahead and apply my pillow face coat. If you want to know how I did that, go ahead and watch my previous video. It does show that process. And then I did apply my nail tips off camera using some base coat. So getting into clipping them down, I will be going for the same length I did in the last video, pretty much like a long to extra long type of length for today's set. Now I'm just taking my hand file just to make sure the sidewalls are nice and flush to that natural nail and making sure the free edge is nice and straight as well. So getting into the acrylic application, I will be using the acrylic powder called Pink Kisses. This is from our Cover Dreams collection on Kairos Nail Supply. I do have a link down below and if you use code YouTube, it does save you 15% on any of your purchases. But I will be using just this one acrylic powder for today's set. So I did go ahead and apply a medium sized bead of acrylic right where the tip of the natural nail meet and just gently blend it down towards the free edge. Making sure I am still wiping those sidewalls to keep the nice square shape along with wiping the free edge just to keep it nice and squared off on the top as well. And then here I will be applying just a very small bead of acrylic at the free edge just to give it a little bit more thickness right where it kind of needed it on the corner there and blend it up towards the cuticle area just a little bit. Now for my next bead, it will be another medium sized bead of acrylic right underneath that free edge, I mean right underneath the cuticle area. And I'm just taking the tip of my brush just to push it up there so that way it doesn't flood into the cuticle area and it just gives it a nice uh, flawless blend there. And then I will be dragging the excess acrylic down towards the free edge as well. Like I said, I will, I will be using this acrylic powder for all of my nails, so I will go ahead and let the rest of this just play out, and I'll come back in when it's time to shape and file. I did quickly want to hop back in and let you know, you don't absolutely have to encapsulate any of the colors of the Cover Dreams collection or any of the colors we do have that have glitter in them. Um, the glitter doesn't file off when you file, which you'll see later on. Um, it's like really good into the acrylic so that way it doesn't have to like be encapsulated if any of that makes any sense. The only ones that need to be encapsulated I recommend is definitely our glitter acrylics and any pigmented colored acrylics as well. 
So this is our nails after application and I will be taking the, five, the fine 5-in-1 drill bit and going around the cuticle area just to make sure everything is nice and flush to that natural nail. Next, I will be taking my medium grit sanding band for nails and blinks, going around the cuticle, cuticle area once more, and then going over the surface of the nail just to smooth everything out from that acrylic application. Now I will be taking my hand file and just shaping up the side walls once more along with going underneath the um, nail as well just to get any of that excess acrylic that might have spilled over when doing the application and I will also square off the free edge as well. So these are what our nails are looking like after they've been shaped and filed and also I, I did go ahead and use a lint free wipe and some alcohol just to clean off all that excess dust. Now getting into the nail art, if you've seen by the thumbnail, we'll, we will be doing like the love note um, type of valentine design that's been trending. So to do that I will be using this white gel polish from Beatles and doing um, an acrylic, I mean doing a French outline and I'm kind of having the smile line a bit lower than I usually have it. Um, but that's just to give me more room for when we go go in with the design later on We have more room for designs if that makes any sense Now if you see my last video, you will kind of know how I do my French tips So what I like to do is on the first nail, I just kind of go from um, the side of the nail where I want the French tip to start and then slowly curve my brush into the middle of the nail where I want that smile line to end and then after I do that, I do like to take my liner brush and fill in the sides as well. So that way when I go in with the brush applicator from the bottle, it's less work to do on the side walls. And then moving on to the next fingers, I like to just kind of line up the two nails together and mark the center of where the smile line is going to go, just like I did here. And then just work my way um, creating the smile line and the rest of the French tip doing that. I hope any of that makes any sense to you guys, um, but I will go ahead and let the rest of this um, quick process play out really quick and I'll come back in in just a second. Now after I mapped out my French tips, I am taking the brush applicator from the bottle and I will be using that to infill the tip of the nail just to make it a faster process. And then before curing the nails in the lamp, I will go ahead and wipe down the sidewalls just to make sure it keeps a nice square shade that we have and it doesn't look too bulky on the sides. And then I will go ahead and cure that in the light for 60 seconds. So 
So these are what our first tips are looking like. I did go ahead and start this process on my thumb off camera. So getting into that for the rest of the nails, I am taking this very light um, blue gel polish I have. And I will be doing lines across all the French tips. I'm trying my hardest to avoid getting it on any of the pink acrylic um, area. But yeah, when doing this type of design, I want you to note that the lines don't have to be perfectly symmetrical or... Like, even if that makes any sense, because if you were to see, like, actual writing paper, some of it's not even completely the same. Some lines are faded, some are thicker, some are thinner. Like, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect when doing this design. And then again, just doing some smaller lines on the sides of that smile, um, like the smile line of the French tip, just to avoid getting it on that pink acrylic area. Now I will be going ahead and doing the same exact thing across all my nails, so I'll come back in when it's time to move on to the next step of this nail art. So these are what the nails are looking like so far. I did add a little bit more designs on my thumb off camera. So getting into the rest of the nail art, I am taking this like reddish pink um, gel polish I have and doing like the side lines on the nail. If you like obviously see notebook paper, it does have that little red line on the side. So we will be creating that. And I can tell, like I know, I'm sure you guys can tell that the blue lines are a bit bumpy from when doing that. Um, I would have recommended top coating after that so it kind of evened everything out, but I forgot to do that. But if you're wanting, if you're wanting to recreate this, I'd highly recommend top coating the nails before you do the red lines or before you do any of the rest of this nail art that we are doing now. So on the pinky nail, I will be writing um, XO using some pink gel polish and I will also be using that to create some hearts around that as well. You will kind of see me go back and forth in between nails, just depending on what color of gel polish I have on my brush at the moment. But for this nail here on the index finger, I am drawing some pink lips. So what I did is I drew a line straight across, and now I'm drawing two other types of lines on top of that, kind of curving them at the top, if that makes any sense, and then doing more of a curved line underneath, just to um, resemble the bottom lip. And then back to the pinky nail, just adding a little red heart there, just to give it more color. And then back to the index finger, I will be using that red gel polish again to create another set of lips. And then to give it more design around those lips, I didn't want to do hearts, so I did go ahead and do like the four pointed stars. So I just took my dotting tool and did dots of the red gel polish and the pink gel polish, and I'm just taking my liner brush to do the lines coming out of the center of that dot. And I do want to know, I am carrying each of these nails um, in between, like doing them for about 10 to 15 seconds, just so that way it doesn't get ruined when I move on to the next nail. So here for the middle finger, I will be doing like the little tic-tac-toe um, type of drawn out design. So I'm just doing 
the two lines right here going down and then the two lines across and I will go ahead and since I have the black gel polish on the brush I will do the designs I need to do on my ring finger. And for the ring finger I will be doing like the little check boxes where it says yes and no. So here you can see that I'm just drawing the, the top box and then I will draw the second box and then I will write the words no and yes right next to them. After I finish that last letter, I will go ahead and cure this in the light for about 30 seconds. Since this is a black gel polish, I want to make sure it's a bit more cured before moving on to the rest of the design. So here I will be drawing like the little hearts going um, along the tic-tac-toe design. So I'm just drawing them mainly in that center like column just to kind of get it as if you want, if that makes sense. I don't know. I'm really not that good at explaining things, but yeah, I'm just doing the three little hearts in the center of that tic-tac-toe grid. And then I will also be using that pink gel polish just to mark off the check box, yes. And then I will go ahead and cure that on the light for another 10 seconds. So to kind of get into finishing up the nail design, I am drawing um, some more hearts around these um, nails just to give it more design. It's kind of hard choosing like what you want to draw on these nails because it's pretty much repetitive. It's either hearts or lips or stuff like that. But to me, it still turned out really cute. So it doesn't matter if you're adding too many hearts or anything like that. I did go ahead and cure my nails in the lamp for a full 60 seconds just to make sure each of these colors were nice and fully cured. After that, I will be top coating them, so I'm using the Super Gloss Top Coat from Mo Acrylics and applying that on top of all my nails. And since these are kind of like bumped up or like raised a little bit from the nail design, you want to make sure you're pressing that top coat into each of these nails just to make sure it gets in between those crevices. And then before fully curing these nails, I do like to wipe down the sidewalls just to keep the shape still, um, make sure it's nice and squared off and everything. And then I do go ahead and put my hand in the lamp for 60 seconds to make sure it's fully cured. That's pretty much the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!